Hello and welcome. My name is Matthias Schwendek. I will introduce you in the next minutes to the window of tolerance and the power of the wheel of consent from Betty Martin. How to stay and widen in your window of tolerance. The window of tolerance is a term used to describe the zone of arousal in which a person is able to function most effectively. When a person is within the window of tolerance, the brain is functioning well and can effectively process stimuli. That person is likely to be able to reflect, think rationally and make choices and decisions calmly without feeling either overwhelmed or withdrawn and responds to the demands of everyday life without much difficulties. Features for being within the window of tolerance is when you're in the comfort zone, emotionally regulated, calm, you're cool, connected, collected, relaxed, and you have the ability to self-soothe and self-regulate emotional states. The stress of a traumatic or negative event may have the effect of pushing a person out of their window of tolerance. People who have experienced a traumatic event might respond to stressors, even minor ones, with extreme hyper or hypoarousal. This state of dysregulation causes us to go out of the window of tolerance with fear of abandonment or rejection, unconscious thoughts and bodily feelings, feelings of shame and guilt and feeling unsafe, not knowing of the options of making choices with trauma-related beliefs. As a result of these experiences, we might come to believe the world is unsafe and might operate with a window of tolerance that has become more narrow or inflexible as a result. A narrowed window of tolerance might cause people to perceive danger more readily and react to real and imagined threats with either a fight-flight or a freeze response. During times of extreme stress, people often experience periods of either hypo or hyperarousal. Hyperarousal, otherwise known as the fight-flight response, is often characterized by hypervigilance with feelings of anxiety, panic, racing thoughts, overwhelmed, chaotic response, outburst with emotional aggressiveness, anger, aggression, rage, obsessive compulsive behavior of thoughts, rigidness, addiction, impulsivity, overeating or restrictions. Hypoarousal or the freeze response might cause feelings of emotional numbness, emptiness or paralysis. Faint death response, dissociation, not being present, unavailable or shut down, memory loss, a disconnectiveness, being on autopilot, no display of emotions, being flat, separation from self, feelings and emotions. Many individuals are able to widen their window of tolerance and, by doing so, increase their sense of calm and become able to deal with stress in more adaptive ways. To stay within the window of tolerance, we need to feel safe to make choices, noticing for what we want, valuing it, asking for it and being able to receive it, recognize our limits keeping clear boundaries by communicating yes and no, creating clear agreements based on time, space and action, and changing our mind whenever necessary. Here we can access states for play, dance, work, sport, yoga, making connections, intimacy, sensuality, pleasure, sexuality, rest and rejuvenation. This is as well the place where the Wheel of Consent from Betty Martin fits in, as a tool of empowerment to create clear verbal agreements that establish a sense of safety and connection.
in particular, it is about physical action and clear dynamics between giving and receiving. We can choose to step into a new paradigm of conscious relating through verbal consent. Thank you for watching. Please follow the next video to the function of the nervous system and the wheel of consent. Please subscribe for more, comment in the section below and give your thumb up if you like what I do.